Hello, my name is David Rocketry, and what you see before us here is my attempt at a sort of new generation of whoosh bottle. It has the entire element of a whoosh bottle with some elements of actual true rocketry mixed in with it, mostly just around the nozzle area, as you can see. Now, if you've seen other videos of mine or other videos of whoosh bottle, which you possibly could have, the only thing that really sticks out is the end of it, which you might be able to tell is a piece of aluminum foil shaped into a sort of nozzle. Now before you really get into it and I show you it entirely, I did no equations to find out what would be the perfect size and shape of the nozzle, which just, it would have been a pain in the butt to do that for such a thing, so everything that you see is eyeballed. Now, to give some of the dimensions of it, it is about 3 fourths and 1 16th of an inch long, while having a throat diameter of about 1 eighth of an inch, and having an exit of the nozzle diameter being 3 eighths of an inch, meaning that the ratio of them is about 3. The exit of the nozzle being about 3 times the size as the throat of the nozzle. Now, if I were to be engineering an actual rocket engine, those numbers would be very important in the efficiency, thrust, and everything of the rocket engine. But since this is just some janky whoosh bottle, those equations don't matter much. As well as the equations only matter if this can reach supersonic flow, which I could have done the equations for, but once again it'd just be too much of a pain to actually do. And I'm a relative newbie at it, so for the for me to get it right, first time, first try, would be near impossible. But now that we have that over, let me tell you about the incredibly janky way I put this whole thing together. The way I got this parabolic shape was simply having a thin strip of aluminum and wrapping it around the end of a pen. Very tightly though, to make sure that it was stiff enough to hopefully withstand the pressures generated inside of a whoosh bottle. Now from this point forward in the video I am going to start calling it a combustion chamber instead of a whoosh bottle just because of the fact whoosh bottle sounds a little bit unprofessional. But this video is entirely comprised of talking about a nozzle formed using a end cap of a pen so this whole thing isn't too professional, but we can try. Anyway, once tightly forming the aluminum foil around the end cap of the uh, pen, I then got this soda bottle and used the cap to drill a hole in it just so I could stick the nozzle in said hole. Taking a few attempts to get the right size hole, going from smaller to bigger until I could finally have the end of it fit. The way also it is attached on is quite janky. It is just the aluminum foil pushed into a hole and splayed out to try and hold it there. And as you can see some burn marks from when I tried melting the plastic slightly to see if I could fuse the plastic and the aluminum foil together. And as you can tell it didn't really work well. I might use a little bit of epoxy to hold it in there and seal it off, taking away what would be a sort of blowout cap if the bottle accumulated too much pressure, making this whole ordeal somewhat more dangerous, but also making sure this nozzle isn't blown out 20 feet in the other direction. And like I said before, this nozzle has no real effect besides looking cool if it doesn't reach supersonic flow, which with this small hole and all the gases that are going to be traveling through it, I believe is quite possible. As long as the bottle and or combustion chamber doesn't blow up, which as you can see I've taken some precautions towards by wrapping electrical tape around what I believe is the most vulnerable parts of exploding, the thinnest parts of the plastic, having a sort of o-ring around them, making it so it's just that much more strong there so 
this bottle doesn't have any real weak points in it. But as you may know, it just takes one weak link in a chain to cause it to break easily. Now, because of that fact, I will be going to not be that close to this bottle. I believe I'm going to make a sort of fuse so I can light it off and get away in time so that it doesn't blow up in my face because that would not be favorable, to be honest, because, you know, I, I somewhat like my face and I don't really feel like having it burned. Now, I'm not exactly sure when I can test this nozzle and combustion chamber as of yet because I want to make sure it is completely safe when doing so with fuse and all. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for when I do test it, which I hope is relatively soon. Well, unless you're from the future, then I'll have the link in the description. But till then, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing, liking it, and if you have any questions, commenting down below. My name is Nitwood Rocktree, and have a good day.